Alright guys. Finally found time to test out this front tire on some, some decent gravel at speed. And it's a loop I'm very familiar with. I've ridden a hundred, two hundred more, maybe more times. And uh you know, my whole problem with this bike, if you're, if you're not familiar with what's going on with this series, you can go back and watch some of my older videos on this bike. Um, I love the Versus 650, but the front end on gravel, it, you can lose it at any time with the 17 inch wheel. Uh, you feel like you're gripping real tight. It just doesn't feel good. It's not confidence inspiring. Uh, they don't make any 19 inch wheels for this bike anymore. So I put a rear tire on the front, which brings the entire wheel up to almost a 19. And seems, so far from the little riding I've done around the parking lot and driveway, to help a lot. So, this is my first real test ride. I'm going to take it out on gravel that I'm familiar in. But, uh, you can go back and if you search like uh, MX Guru Crash Versus, you can actually see me crash this Versus in a gravel parking lot going like, I could have been going more than six or eight miles an hour and the front end just, I didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't pull in the clutch. I didn't hit the back brake. I didn't hit the gas and the front end just washes out. And, uh, I know this isn't a hard enduro bike, I know it's not a hardcore adventure bike, but I still feel like a little stability on the front end isn't too much to ask for. So hopefully that front tire does that for me, we're going to see in a few minutes. Um, it also improved the riding position, brought the bars up a little higher, changed the rake to change the angle of everything to a little closer to what I like um, help with the with the problem with the seat on these things where you want to slide down to the tank I don't know if that helped enough I 3d printed a seat riser and uh, probably still going to install that and see how it feels with this and the seat riser but you still you still kind of want to slide forward into the tank so we'll see In just a few minutes up here we'll be hitting some gravel the first is just a great back road bike though this uh, parallel twin 650 has all the power you need <clears throat> amazing braking everything about this bike in stock form besides the front end obviously you have to put knobbies on it but and I've already you know spent time getting it set up I've got the box I want on the back uh, blue sky C sent me over this sweet dash cam I've got my power hooked up got good tires I'm ready to kill some back roads
can tell just from the rough, even the rough asphalt road, but it's way better. Sometimes there's a dog right here. And looks like he's inside today. guys go back and watch my last versus video about what I did but it's a Shinko 805 I think it's a 130 80 17 I've got installed on the front of this thing I wasn't sure which direction I should flip it but just just kept it running in the uh, direction it's supposed to and uh, Maybe I should have ran it directionally backwards. Not sure. Maybe somebody can chime in. Now we're on gravel. One time, uh, me and Krista were trying to dodge potholes and on the KLR doubling and went off the road right here. It's pretty cool. And being a KLR 650, we just hit the brakes and popped back on the road. Off the front wheel over that. Doing maybe a little logging out here. Oh yeah, see I can I'm not really going to all the the work to drift the front wheel, but it's like I can kind of lean back and let the front wheel <clears throat> kind of just travel and, and drift a little bit over the gravel where I could never do that before. I'd be coming through here before and I'd be like clenched up tight like just waiting for the front end to try to dive and I'd love to get over there and try to climb that hill especially in this relatively fresh loose gravel I was but far more relaxed to be able to do was just you know safely carry 30 35 on roads like this really get out and see the scenery not be clenched and looking down in front of me and it looks like it looks like this is going to do it fine so to me i've said it a couple times before to me this is a ten thousand dollar front tire because if this front tire didn't work 
and I had to sell this Versus, you know, to get the adventure bike I like. You know, the cheapest options would have would have been, you know, with the 21 inch front wheel, the cheapest options would have been the uh, a used Africa Twin, which those are hard to find cheap because they haven't been out that long, or a used uh, Tenere, which have been out even even a shorter amount of time. So, uh, you know, KTM 790 or 890 Adventure would be optimal, but, you know, those haven't been out that long either, and they're 14 grand new. So, this tire working on this Versus, you know, I paid $3,200 for this Versus when I bought it uh, three years ago, and I've got guys offering me $35 for it because I had it up for sale. You know, thinking it wouldn't do what I needed it to do. And I almost let it go a couple times, and I'm so glad I didn't. Because with this front tire, it does what I need it to do. Which is what you're watching with, you know, some very occasional gravel. You know, it probably gravel 30-40% of the time. But when I am on that 30-40% of the time, I just want it to not be sketchy a little trail back there so yeah I'll be keeping this guys I'm gonna clear some uh, I'm gonna clear some miles on this this year and at least in West Virginia anyway see some sights hopefully you guys will come with me Might be a good time to ask you uh, if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button hit the bell hit the like button Facebook posts and say, you know, well, don't you have a KLR650 for that? Don't you have a DR650 for that? And, uh, yes, I do. And the DR is unmatched as far as the speed I can carry on these roads, you know, and still be pretty comfortable on pavement. It's, it's hard to beat the DR650, guys. I mean, short of a, maybe a KTM 690 Enduro R, which I can't afford. But, uh, yeah, the DR, I can travel roads like this, you know, at 40, 45, you know, faster than you should really be going on these roads, because if you come around some of these corners, you can quickly find yourself up on another vehicle but uh but the dr can be a little more exhausting you know if, if you're going on a, a day or a weekend ride and you've got a little bit of highway sections you need to clear or you really want to take some luggage it can it can be a little more exhausting um and and sometimes this is really nice for that You know, if you got to hop on the highway on the DR and run 65, you know, sometimes you have to do that for 15 or 20 minutes or whatever. It's work. Uh, on this bike, it's not. It's still relaxing. You can still cover stuff like this. Now, the DR, I can do stuff like this, but then still jump off and hit ATV trails. Which is nice.
it depends on what bikes your buddies are on, man. Like, I've got a buddy that I, you know, we, we ride together pretty often. Usually when I'm dual sport and adventure riding, you know, that's the buddy I'm with. And, uh, you know, he's got a bigger adventure bike like this and, you know, smaller smaller dual sports like XR650Ls and DRs. And it's nice to kind of be on the same bike your buddy is. You guys can kind of do the same stuff at the same speeds. It wouldn't be a real blast to take this and ride with somebody that's on a WR450F or something like that. Look at that view, guys. I'm going to pull over here for a second and just let that truck go. know I have way too many motorcycles and no time to ride any of them it seems like yeah I mean that's all I want this bike to do is just stuff like I just did some weekend trips you know and carry a little bit of luggage and uh, another another thought that came through my head was that uh, maybe one day if we ever got more time on our hands that uh, Chris and I could do some adventure motorcycling and see some stuff and uh, I might upgrade you know to a to an 890 adventure or something along those lines <clears throat> there was a dog I always got one of them and uh maybe this would be krista's you know, she's got the 250l but once again you know this is just a 250l will barely do 60 60 65 miles an hour at all with the gearing that's on it but uh maybe this will become krista's bike and i didn't feel safe about that with the other front tire. I do feel safe about that now. She can handle this just fine. <coughs> and then we could really, really clear some miles. But that's, that's in the future. negative thing I've seen about this tire is oh it slows your steering down um, 
Yeah, it slowed my steering down enough that I noticed it the first ride. <coughs> Especially at kind of lower speeds. But after the second ride, I can't even notice it anymore, guys. And it all I can say is if you want that street bike track steering, okay, yeah, this is gonna take away from that a little bit. If you want more of a dirt bike steering, an adventure bike steering, then that's what it's gonna give you. So it's it's not a negative in my eyes. guys so uh yeah thanks for riding with me my final conclusion final conclusion is that this front tire is the single best mod you can do to your versus 650 so uh if you have one of these and you ride gravel at all <coughs> dirt at all you need to do this mod all right guys smash the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next video